Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, I got this cool, amazing product right here, you guys can see by this brand right here. M-Y-M-A-H-D-I. And pretty much what it is, is the MP3 player. And I'm not sure if you guys remember or not, but I actually reviewed one of these products from this brand that's a little bit different than this one. Uh, this one's an upgraded version of the previous one that they uh, sent to me to kind of test and show you guys. Um, this one in particular is a Bluetooth 5.0, versus the older one, I think it was a like Bluetooth 4.2 or 4.0. So there's definitely a huge improvement between this one and the old one because I was actually able to test it out a little bit first. But first thing first, let me actually unbox it to show you guys what the unboxed experience will look like when you guys first get it. So when we first open the package, First thing you get inside is the actual MP3 player itself, but I'll show you guys that in a second because I want to show you guys what else comes in at the package first. So when we remove this compartment, this layer right here, they provide you some other accessories right here, which is like micro USB to USB cable. They provide you a little headphone if you guys want to use that, unless you guys have your own one, then you guys can use your own one as well. And last but not least, they provide you the instruction guide on how to set up the product and how to use it, and all the different functionality that's on here, and they provide you a little warranty card for the product. So that's basically everything that comes inside the package. Now let me show you the actual MP3 player itself. So when you guys look at the device right here, this is what the front side would look like. But if you look at the bottom part, here's what we have. We have an aux cord slot right here. We have a micro USB slot here. And this is where you guys will actually plug in the cable to charge the product. Right here, we have on and off switch to activate the product. We turn right here, they have a micro SD card slot. So you can plug in your uh, micro SD um, card with all your music. If you guys have any kind of music or you guys have like pictures on here, you can put that on here as well. And then if you guys look right here, we have a lock button and a volume up, volume down button. So you guys can control the volume on here and you guys can lock it if you guys are not using the product. So first thing first, let me actually activate it and show you guys what it looks like first. So all you have to do is turn on the button at the bottom where it's like on and off. And it turns on right there, you guys can see. And you guys can see the reflection of my camera, which is pretty cool and show you guys that it's actually really good quality. But you guys can see right here, they have the time on the top, you have a battery life right there. Battery life is really, really low, so I have to charge it up later on and then see how long it takes it to charge it. So the speakers in the back right here, you guys can see right there. So basically that's what kind of sounds like and the battery just dies so I had to go charge this up and then come back and talk about the product. Alright so we plugged it in right now, you guys can see that it's charging because it has the icon right there. So that's really easy to use and easy to charge. Alright so you guys can see right here, it's very easy to use the touch controls on this. So tap of music, goes to music, you guys can see all that on here. Video, no files right now, calculator. So you can do your map on here if you guys want to. You guys can record stuff on here. Alright, so you guys can see it's being recorded right now. We're gonna just test it out really quick to see how it works. Go to file list, record, and then re-listen to it. Alright, so you guys can see it's being recorded now. We're gonna just test it out really quick to see how it works. Alright, so as you can hear the audio is actually really really loud. You guys can look at your photos on here. But right now we don't have any photos. You guys can play games on here. So these are all the games that come on here. So there's Tetris, there's Hong Road, uh, Sudoku, Rolling Thinking, Frog Prince, Jumping Boss, 2048, Disappear. And then you just click a game, it goes on here. So the audio is right here in the back, so that's very cool. There's the tools, so the tools you guys can use Bluetooth, Decompression, radio, calendar, stopwatch. So you guys want to go to radio station. You guys can use this option right here as well if you guys want to. But let me do like a quick like kind of test for the audio because earlier it didn't really work. So let's do that right now to see how it sounds like using the one that they provide for us. Alright, so that's basically the sample of what it kind of sounds like with the speaker. Alright, welcome back guys. So now you guys saw the test of our product. You guys can see it actually does work and it actually works quite well. So for the charging time, how long does it uh, take to fully charge the product? So I was able to uh, let it charge for over like 3 hours and then it was already like almost fully charged. And then when it got to like 4 hours, it was fully charged. I didn't really check between the 3 and 4 hours, but it took around 3 to 4 hours to fully charge the product from my experience so far. 
performance wise everything is really nice it has everything you guys want in here like the music videos you could do your calculations on here record stuff play games look at your photos and whatnot and what's really cool about this it has a built-in speaker like how i mentioned earlier and then it also has a fm radio on here so you guys can listen to the radio on here as well so basically everything that you would need or want is, is all on here and then one thing to also kind of mention is the fact for the uh, micro sd card slot if you guys want to use it it supports up to 128 gigabytes so anything more than that it probably wouldn't work so that's pretty much everything that's on this product now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So this product in particular costs around $50. And for that price range, would I say that it's actually worth it or not? So for me, honestly, I have to say that this product is actually worth it if you guys need it. But if you guys don't need it, then obviously it's not worth it because why buy something that you guys actually don't need, right? But I would have to say that this product is actually really worth it for people who want to use this daily to listen to music or for uh, the runs and whatnot. But overall, a really cool product to have, especially since this only costs $50. That's like much cheaper than buying an iPhone. Uh, but the only thing is that you guys can make a call in here compared to your phone but other than that that's pretty much it for a little unboxing testing and feedback about this product hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to subscribe like and comment down below and if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more then make sure to click that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future and as always make sure to stay positive be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace and then for today g squad fan shout out day we have